Thank you for joining in today's video. I will take you through the exercise of supply chain security dot assignment for Aqua Security Portal. First one module is related to the agenda of today's presentation. In first slide, we cover towards prerequisites. The next module is related to SCM integration. The next one is related to repository compliance and the results overview. Later on, it's CICD, that's continuous integration and continuous development for push and PR. Then it's software builds of materials that's called SBOM. Next, the module is related to build pipeline and activity monitoring. Later on, it's SEM integration. So let's begin with prerequisites. First of all, we need to set up an organization Then you need to go to your GitHub account here. Uh, I selected GitHub as a SEM. So uh, if you have already an existing uh, organization, you can use that. But here I created a new organization for my personal use. As you could see on right hand side, there is a screenshot from where you could select this your organization. I go to settings for create a creation of a new one. The next screen is related to the organization that I created. I named it as Test. Next, we need to create our first private repository in this organization that I named as ProQL Vulnerable. And it's set to as private. Next, we need to clone this repository. I opened up Git on my local system and I cloned this repository. Before we move towards our next SEM integration, I'll show you this step on Aqua Tenant UI. This is our Aqua Tenant. I'm moving towards supply chain security. Then there is a tab that's integrations. In first supply chain management as you could see I have integrated a dart test Kiani integration and its status is fine if you need to delete it you can select in and if you need to create a new one you could go to source code management then you could select github there are several other SCM providers available you could select github then there is authentication you need to click on this and provide the authentication and then next is repository selection so once all of the repositories are selected our next module is related to scm integration where we'll be creating three of the assurance policy sets and in this we'll be selecting fail builds and PRs as checked then in all of the first policy will be comprised of vulnerability severity control and it will filter for critical severities in next we'll be selecting sensitive data control and filter for critical severity types of controls in third we'll be going for ISC infrastructure as a code that is full form its misconfigurations control and filter for critical severity so i'm moving towards my aqua tenant to have you a view of these settings after will be completed with this there will be a checkpoint that we need to locate the scan repositories and we we'll see the results so in first we will we are going towards give three of our policies this is my aqua tenant i'm going towards assurance policies selecting the first one that's supply chain let the policies load from all of these policies i'm searching for policies that are related to me so i search for kiani this one is the first policy
in this policy as you could see uh, i'm directly going towards its controls so the first thing to verify is fail build and prs is checked then we need to verify this critical severity control is there in the policy so first i need to make sure the first three check boxes are there for audit message fail builds fail prs then next i see the one that's selected is check check marked here that's vulnerability severity and if i go over here it marked at critical because in the description over here it was written to filter these for critical severity so this is this one is first so i need to click it save then i'm going towards our next policy three of these check boxes are checked in here then going towards the settings for sensitive data control for critical severity this one is sensitive data control and you could say it's safe for critical moving towards our third policy that isc misconfiguration control for critical severity that's our third policy where isc misconfiguration severity is set to critical So during the configuration, when we selected the SCM, we selected this repository and then next the repository that need to be selected is here. On the next screen, we'll see all the compliance and results overview that are in few moments. I'll let, I'll let you see from UI. So all the results will appear up over here. Then there is CICD integration before we move here. Let's jump towards Aqua Tenant. I selected this tab in SCM and I'm going towards my repository that I created. This one is my repository that's Jenny.sprofql. If I select it over here, then next you could see on this screen. Its status would be appearing up here. First, it was non compliant just because of different remediation that we see in next. It became compliant. Then, in vulner vulnerabilities, I could see all the vulnerabilities that would appear up in here. The sensitive data that is found in this repository is listed here. Then, next is processed. If there are any SAS finding, it would appear here. Next is infrastructure as for ISC. Next is build pipeline. All these information is available here to look at the findings that were displayed. So this this is the compliance and results overview. Our next module is related to continuous integration and continuous deployment. Here we'll implement scans as a part of pull request and whenever there is a commit that would make sure the secure container is merged into the code base. Next we'll remediate the findings and the security issues that are there in CACD process. So this will enable the developer to find the vulnerabilities in early stage of development before panicking in the production. To move on this, first we need to make sure about the description of task. The description of task is here. We could see uh, first we need to account, we need to navigate towards account management, then we need to expand the section settings and generate an API key, and then we need to go towards GitHub and then establish a secret. And then we need to save this environment variable there. Then we come towards our Aqua tenant and click this CI integration. And in GitHub actions, we'll see all these actions that, that we do for push and pull request. And here we'll create a repo from main. So let's move towards the screenshots that I had taken. This is the screen related to API keys. You go towards account and select keys and it's here. 
Next is related to saving the secrets in GitHub repositories. You could see two variables are created with a key and secret, and these details that were present on this screen are saved here in GitHub. This way, our sensitive data is secret and secure. Then we created a new branch from our main branch. In here, uh, we could see different of the GitHub actions. A workflow is created with, with a YAML file containing all of these uh, settings where whenever there is a push and pull, it would make sure that secure images come pushed into the code base. When I go towards this summary, I could see different of the actions listed here. Before we move toward this, let's move towards Equa tenant. So this one is my GitHub console where I could see different of the actions listed here with all the information of tasks that I performed there with their current status. When I go towards its workflow, I could click on one and then it will redirect me towards its status, what executed and what's the content in there later on there is a yaml file that would be comprised of all the settings similar i could go towards this one and if i want to see this yaml file it's listed over here with all the actions that when we are building when we are triggering when we are merging different branches and all the settings are listed here where uh, we are referencing our secrets and keys. The next tab is related to the immediate the finding. This is to tackle with all the findings that are found, either to suppress it or address it in code base so that our image become compliant. Right now it's non-compliant. You can see different of the vulnerabilities are here. This is my repository scan results. I could go towards this and I could see different of the vulnerabilities. If I go to suppression rules, I have created a suppression rule to suppress all of these vulnerabilities that are found. So this suppression rule is active. Now it will make our repository that's found here as compliant. You could see it's compliant. Next one is Software builds of material, it's comprised of all the dependencies that are there. It has two variants as for light and then full as form. If we go towards, uh, we'll see this in Aqua Tenant. At last, it, this image will be created with all of these artifacts. I move towards this dependency tab. I exported this as bomb from here as json file and then i went to the, this artifacts tab and integrated this one let it load to see yeah this this is the image present over here that's comprised of all the settings all the artifacts you could see that were available on previous window are listed over here the next module is the pipeline monitoring where we are concerned about misconfiguration suspicious behaviors and activity monitoring whenever that task is completed you could see go, go towards this activity tab and all those jobs will be listed here with the current status for service availability before moving towards our next module let's see it from equipment On my aqua tenant, I selected this build pipelines. I am here on my repository where I could see all the scannings of these builds are here. All the misconfiguration you could see listed here. Suspicious behavior. If I click this, it would appear here on this tab. If I go towards activity, after this pipeline was created, all the activity contents are listed here. I could go to files, containers, and see all the information from here. Similar, I could do for misconfigurations. I could select the one and details will be there. In suspicious behavior, I could select the one and see the details and we can mitigate this one. 
this last module is related to on-prem SCM integration where we'll be integrating our local GitHub uh, GitLab server with Aqua tenant and we'll be going through with all the scan. This part is related to SCM integration with on-prem and on-prem I have installed GitLab server here and uh, all the token then configuration is added. Let me move to Aqua tenant. Here you could see the integration is in place and its status is good. Going to our repositories. The repositories here. All the vulnerabilities that are scanned are appearing up here. That are making this image as non-compliant. So I'm going to vulnerabilities and then I need to go to see which one is failing. So this one is the critical vulnerability. I'm copying its name and going to suppression rule to create a suppression rule for it. I'm marking a specific vulnerability and then entering its name here. and clicking on add saving it it's enabled I have updated my repository name in this I'm going to this camp This one is scanning. As you could see, scan is completed this time. And when I go to scanning report over here, we will see there would be no high uh, critical security for this. A critical vulnerability that was suppressed last time is no more available here. It's suppressed. So this way we can deal with all of these vulnerabilities and we can do multiple scans. So this way it would be easier for integrations and look at the vulnerabilities that are present in the image. So this way it's integrated with our GitLab local server. Thank you.